Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel on Advanced Excel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can use conditional formatting uh, to highlight second and fourth Saturday. But before that, uh, those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to subscribe to my channel for all these practical uh, videos on Advanced Excel. Also, uh, spread my videos to your friends and uh, colleagues so that even they are benefited. And I am going to give link of this uh, file in the, the description box for you to download and practice with me. Okay, so uh, before we start this video, you have to trust me, I had, uh, I have kind of uh, broke my head uh, on this uh, particular challenge uh, to have to just uh, just to see that whether we can have a single cell formula which we can copy into this conditional formatting to highlight second and uh, uh, fourth Saturday. Uh, so to, in today's video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how we can do it uh, with uh, four helper columns. We'll uh, uh, try to evaluate uh, individual uh, functions in uh, three to four helper columns. And then we will consolidate a, f a formula which we can paste into conditional formatting for highlighting second and fourth Saturday. Uh, and uh, once we have done that, we can simply uh, hide those columns. So uh, let's begin. Now the first function I am going to use is text. Now uh, this function is again uh, no uh, unsung hero of Excel. So text uh, value is this and text format I want DDD. We all know that D stands for day and control enter. We'll select this uh, range and simply press, uh, press control D. Now we'll ask a logical question. How many of you are Saturdays? SLT because we have used abbreviation DDD. If you give your DDDD, then it will uh, give us a long form that is Saturday, entire word. So control enter. And now again to convert this trues and false into ones and zeros, I am multiplying it by one. Control enter. So this is my first step. In the second helper column, we'll take a sum of uh, this range but uh, as we take sum first we'll take a sum of uh, this d to d say uh, d2 to, to d2 uh, then it will be a d2 to d3 and so on so i'm just saying sum tab d2 semicolon and now i'm taking uh, cursor to the formula bar and uh, this first d2 i will freeze and control enter and control c and Control shift up arrow, control V. So what has happened is for this is my first uh, Saturday and so the sum is taking the total of this D2 to D3 and it is giving me 1. Okay, the moment we reach this second Saturday, the sum is coming to 2. So also when uh, uh, it, uh, uh, we are at this level, that is the 30, uh, 20, 23rd of uh, Saturday, the sum is taking the total of say this plus this, that is cumulative total and it is giving me 4. So this is why uh, we have used sum over here but uh, on an incremental basis sum is taking the total of uh, the current cell plus previous cells. Now in third this one I am going to use and here and or before that let me use this uh, first uh, stretch control C escape is equal to and tab control V so this is first condition uh, in and basically and gives true when all the conditions inside and are satisfied and we'll ask whether this is equal to 2 isn't it and let me just demonstrate uh, this to you now this is my second Saturday first Saturday has already gone on uh, 2nd of May 2020 so if I copy it here, it will give us true. So this is what we exactly want. And the second condition we want is exactly the same. Only thing is instead of two, we will ask four. But again, we want second and fourth Saturday to be highlighted. So we are going to put two ands inside or. Okay. What or does is if any, any of the conditions are satisfied or gives true. And uh, that's what we want to copy that formula into conditional formatting so I am hitting F2 uh, here and I will start with OR tab now this is my one condition inside OR and I am going to copy this AND which has got two conditions inside it control V and instead of two I am giving four and enter it's ok false perfectly fine and control V or enter 
now you can see out of all this false we are having only two values which are true which are this which is my second uh, uh, saturday and this which is my fourth saturday so now simply i'll take this uh, entire or uh, function control c escape i select this range where i want conditional formatting to apply and the shortcut key for conditional formatting is alt h l i'll say new rule n then with keyboard we'll select this last last option so we are having our customized formula to determine uh, the cells to format and uh, in this format cell i'm pasting that uh, formula which we have made and let's uh, select the format i want it to be bold then uh, border outline borders and fill i'll take uh, this color okay and okay and here you have and once you have done you can simply hide these uh, columns don't delete this because uh, the these columns are having all those validations so you can hide them and here it is second and fourth saturday so second saturday is falling on uh, 9th of may and the fourth saturday so 9 9 plus 14 it will be on 23rd of saturday and the best part about uh, this is you can apply this uh, particular trick uh, to any month so say uh, first of august 2020 now in uh, august 2020 the first that is uh, first day is falling on saturday itself and here it is so this is my saturday first saturday is gone second is saturday is on uh, second of august and so fourth saturday so 14 plus 8 it will be on 22nd so this is a 22nd so this is how you can have uh, uh, helper columns to highlight second and fourth saturday so friends uh, this this brings me to the end of this video if you have like this video do give me a thumbs up if you have don't like this video then uh, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs down and uh, keep watching uh, my videos and hit that bell icon for getting uh, future updates thanks a lot take care bye bye